when making plans to invest in real estate the first decision to make is usually whether to invest in commercial property or residential property i've had a lot of inquiries as regards to what type of real estate to invest in so today i decided to speak on residential real estate versus commercial real estate these two types of real estate offers a wide range of earning potentials however it depends on what you are looking for and what your finances are like one option might be a better fit hello my name is jacinta your lady realtor and the principal consultant of janik properties our priority is to help you invest in profitable real estate with is. I welcome you to the seventh episode of Real Estate Investment Talk with Jacinta. I started this series so as to educate you and inform you on everything real estate so that you make the right purchase and investment decision. To our returning visitors, I say a very big thank you for always stopping by to see what is new in the real estate market in nigeria to our new visitors i say a very big welcome please hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification so that you don't miss out on amazing videos like this on this episode i'll be talking about residential real estate versus commercial real estate which is better for you I know you cannot wait to know more about residential real estate and commercial real estate. So stay tuned as I bring you the full details. Welcome back. I will start by defining residential real estate and commercial real estate residential real estate consists of places where people live either owner occupied or rented to tenants these are properties that has between one and four residential units which includes single family homes town homes duplexes triplexes mobile homes and many more i did note that there are types of real estate where people live that are not classified as residential real estate these are apartment buildings with more than four units hotels student housing all these fall into commercial real estate category what is commercial real estate Commercial real estate consists of places where people do business. Like I said before, commercial properties are properties with more than five residential units or properties that is leased to a business. Commercial property can be owner occupied or rented to commercial tenants. Some of commercial real estate includes office, warehouse, multi-family apartments that has apartment that is more than four units hotels industrial spaces and many more before we go into the benefits of commercial real estate and residential real estate we have special use commercial real estate which includes stadiums theaters religious facilities zoos and government buildings so now let's dive into the benefits of residential real estate and commercial real estate so we're going to start with the residential real estate the fact that people always need a place to live is a big advantage of investing in residential real estate but it can also lead to some drawbacks but we're going to focus more on the benefits of residential real estate and also the benefits of commercial real estate so the first benefit
benefit of residential real estate is it has low barrier to entry the cost of investing in residential real estate is most certainly less than commercial real estate so it has consistent demand residential real estate usually has a large pool of potential buyers sellers and renters everyone needs a place to live which means that residential real estate generally sees strong demand regardless of the economic cycle three it is easier to finance residential properties are mostly easier to finance so it has shorter leases residential real estate are usually leased for 12 months which gives the landlord the opportunity to adjust rent to the current market condition every year Five, ease of management managing residential real estate may be easier than commercial real estate the last benefit but not the least is residential real estate performs better in economic crisis historically residential real estate has performed well in economic crisis because housing is always in demand before we go into the benefits of commercial real estate earlier i told you that we also have some drawbacks when it comes to investing in residential real estate and some of these drawbacks are more landlords responsibilities we also have property value depends on the neighborhood and frequent turnover now let's talk about the benefits of investing in commercial real estate the first benefit is that it has better return on investment commercial real estate usually has better returns and cash flow because they are mostly for business purposes so it has longer lease terms leases for commercial real estate space may run for five years and more the advantages of long lease are lower turnover costs lower vacancy rates higher guarantee of reliable costs three it has more qualified business tenants and fewer tenant obligations you know when it comes to residential rental property sometimes it's a gamble to find tenants that will consistently pay the rent on time however in the case of commercial real estate we have different class of tenants that are businesses corporations people buying and selling goods and services so it makes them more likely to follow your rules and respect the space the last benefit but not the least for commercial real estate is that it is easier to increase property value earlier i said that one of the drawbacks of residential real estate is that the property value depends on the neighborhood when it comes to valuing the property it depends on the neighborhood but when it comes to commercial real estate the value of a commercial property is based on the revenue that is generated by that property so this is to say that if a commercial property has a high cash flow then the value of that property is higher if the property owner finds the right tenant then they could easily increase their property value much more quickly than a residential property commercial real estate also has its own drawbacks which are high barrier to entry the cost of investing in commercial real estate can be a little bit expensive we also have more difficult to finance to finance a commercial real estate is not as easy as financing a residential real estate and commercial real estate also have volatility 
during recession. So now you know what residential real estate and commercial real estate is and also the benefits and some of the drawbacks when it comes to investing either in residential real estate or commercial real estate. Now the big question you all have been waiting for is which type of real estate is the best for you or what strategy is right for you before we talk about the type of real estate that is best for you if you are yet to subscribe to our official youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on amazing and educative videos like this so what type of real estate is best for you when it comes to choosing between a residential real estate and commercial real estate it is no easy fit to tackle especially because the both come with their own set of benefits both type of real estate will diversify your portfolio both comes with significant tax benefits and both will bring you one step closer to achieving your financial freedom so knowing which is better depends on what you want to gain from your real estate investment if you want to earn the most returns you might want to consider investing in commercial real estate on the other hand residential properties may be more appealing if you are more comfortable working on a small scale in conclusion what i would advise is that you should always keep your goals in mind as you decide on the type of real estate to invest in so this brings us to the end of this episode yes i spoke about the residential real estate and the commercial real estate. I defined the both and I also gave you the benefits of investing in residential real estate and also commercial real estate. And I also gave you some drawbacks when it comes to investing either in residential real estate or commercial real estate. And I also gave you an advice that you should always keep your goals in mind when it comes to investing in real estate thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned something new today if you are yet to subscribe to our youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our videos also follow us on our other social media pages jenny properties on facebook and instagram if you have any inquiries can also give us a call on 090 1259 45 11. once my name is jacinta till i come your way next time keep investing in real estate